Hi everyone, Zach Hample here. This is Great American Ballpark. This is Cincinnati. This is my third straight day here. Now, over the last two days, I got 17 balls and 15 balls. For you guys who are not that good at math, that's an average of 16 baseballs a day. So I'm just feeling all kinds of love right now. The weather is super iffy. I think there's gonna be batting practice, and if there is, it should be another big day. And the forecast was so iffy a little while ago, but I actually said on Twitter that if there is BP today, I will dance a jig for the YouTube video. So, all kinds of action and potentially ridiculous stuff to look forward to. They're about to open. Let's do this! Well, unfortunately, the Reds are not taking batting practice today, but there is a glimmer of hope. The grounds crew just rolled up the tarp, and the batting cage is actually behind home plate, not fully set up, but there are some screens along the foul line, and I'm thinking all that equipment wouldn't be there if the grounds crew had no intention of setting up the field for BP. So the Reds aren't hitting. Their entire pitching staff is playing catch right now. A few Braves are coming out. There's some cones in the outfield. It's just interesting to be in a stadium this early when there is no BP. There's no music blasting, very laid back. So I'm playing deep in right field right now, as you can see, hoping to get the attention of these guys. Maybe they'll chuck one deep. And yeah, if the Braves hit, there'll be some action then. So we'll see. Sonny! Yeah, baby! And just like that, Sonny Gray just fired a seed up to me. My internal mental radar gun puts that one at 78 miles per hour. Now, okay, before anybody starts saying, oh, the glove trick, that's stealing baseballs from the teams, that's property on the field, guys, please, save that. Now, I had to lower my glove and knock the ball closer, and as I was raising my glove to actually set up the glove trick with the rubber band and the marker and all that, the usher up above didn't know what had happened on the field. His view was blocked, and he said, did you get it? And I said, no, not yet, but I'm about to. So obviously, the teams don't have a problem with it. Now, some teams, some stadiums, they don't allow it. You have to respect the rules. But in Cincinnati and in other places, like Texas, if you just saw those vids, security is super cool. And they just encourage fans to go for it and have a good time. And that's really what the spirit of being at the ballpark is all about. Getting a souvenir, or 10 or 20, sharing the love, and just enjoying the great national pastime. There it is. Hey, by the way, I subscribed. This guy knows what's up. Notifications are on. They're I gonna, don't know. they're gonna be right. You gotta turn on notifications. That way, when I post a video, you get an email, you get a text, whatever it is, and boom, you can be among the first to watch it. There. Interesting defensive drills with the Reds today. You got a coach in the middle of the infield hitting fungos with a tennis racket, and some other guy in the stands whipping baseballs down at a catcher on the edge of the field, I guess replicating the height and angle of the mound. I've been to more than 1,600 games in my life and never seen either of those two things, so that's pretty interesting. On the downside, however, the grounds crew just rolled away the batting cage and they rolled the tarp back onto the field. So no batting practice today, which means, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be dancing a jig for you. Now, in just a few minutes, the first base side of the stadium is gonna open. I did see a player chuck a baseball or two into the totally empty seats. I guess they do that just like to leave Easter eggs for the fans when they run in. So I'm gonna head over there, scour the seating area, maybe find something, and then who knows what's happening after that. Maybe a lot of rain. Oh, 
As I often say, when there is no batting practice, other opportunities unfold. There's all this spare time right now, so I figured, why not head up to the upper deck, check out the view, see if we can spot any storm clouds rolling in, check out the river, Kentucky across the way. Now, it's unclear what the weather's gonna do, but it looks like the grounds crew is in the process of taking the tarp off the field. And another thing, it's bark at the park today here at the stadium. I was petting a dog earlier along the right field foul line. That dog is six months old, currently up for adoption at the Cincinnati SPCA. I wanna go pet some more dogs downstairs, maybe grab a bite to eat, and then get ready for the game. Earlier today on Twitter, I asked for suggestions for what I should eat, and somebody suggested Mr. Red Smokehouse down the right field line. So here we go with the mother of all meals here at the stadium. This thing is called the Smokehouse Bowl. It has smoked pulled pork, smoked pulled chicken, macaroni and cheese, and baked beans in this huge fried tortilla thing. I'd say this is probably a week's worth of calories right here. And that's a good thing because after the game tonight, we're going to be starting a 10-hour drive back home to New York. Got to stay full. So let's give this thing a shot. Oh, yeah. Beans. This is like an A-plus right here. Unbelievably empty tonight out in left field and around the entire stadium. That's what happens when the weather is so iffy. And I just feel like tonight is probably the best chance I'm gonna have all year to catch a game home run. If I don't get one, if they don't hit anything out here, I'm convinced the universe hates me. And right now, top of the third inning, no score, of course. All right, so. I don't want this game to go quickly. I'm not rooting for the pitchers, I'm not rooting for the defense. But Yasiel Puig out in center field, ran over into the gap, Freddie Freeman hit one. Puig bobbled it, and Freeman thought, oh yeah, it would be a great idea for me to run on this guy and go to second base. Puig fired a seed from like 200 feet away, right on the money. If it was like one foot off, they wouldn't have gotten Freeman. Bam, slapped the tag, he's out. And now we're going to the bottom of the third inning. So, like, that was cool, but another half inning with no dingers. Nice. So we're in the seventh inning right now. There's been a grand total of zero home runs. The Reds are winning this game three to nothing. A Eugenio Suarez has knocked in all three runs, so that's cool. But man, time is running out. It's starting to rain a little bit. This place is cleared out even more. But Luis Castillo, the Reds starting pitcher, is dealing. Scoreless baseball through six innings. What am I going to do with that? Now, I will say one interesting thing. Two days ago, if you saw that video, that was my 1,500th consecutive game with at least one baseball snag. In those 1,500 games, I was crunching the numbers back at my hotel. I've gotten a grand total of 10,424 baseballs. You do the math, that is 6.9 balls per game for 1,500 games, more than 25 years. So that's pretty cool. I feel good about that, but pretty lousy about the home run situation. Well, the weather forecast was accurate. So much rain tonight here at Great American Ballpark. So much water dripping down from the second deck, puddles all over the place, and there is no sign of this thing letting up. 
This game has been delayed for nearly an hour in the middle of the seventh inning. Reds are still winning three to nothing. And guys, I hate to leave games early, but I gotta do it tonight. I have a super long drive back to New York City tonight. I have to be home tomorrow. And if I keep waiting, it's gonna just turn into a nightmare. So I'm gonna wrap this thing up for you right here. I got three baseballs today, despite the fact that there was no batting practice. Got him in some interesting ways. Got that hard throw from Sonny Gray, the glove trick. I found one, so that was really cool. Got to pet some dogs, eat some great food, wander up to the upper deck. It was really, really a fun day. And the people here are so friendly. The fans, the ushers, security, the players, the coaches, the vendors, everybody. Nothing but good vibes in this stadium. Lots of kids were here over the three days, and it seemed like just about every kid I ran into snagged a baseball. Really great place to catch baseballs, to watch games, to hang out. So a huge thank you for the Reds for just making this such an awesome experience. So, the three baseballs bring my lifetime total to 10,760. That's it for right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Lots more stuff on the way. I'm out of here.